Hi everybody, so this is a three-fold video. I've got three things to get to and I'm going to do them in a very specific order. The first thing is to say I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Um, any questions, any subjects, opinions, whatever you want me to talk about, leave in the comments of this video and I will surely answer them. Well, I may not actually because I'll probably get a couple of hundred and I can't really answer that many, but I'll do a reasonably long video. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And part of the reason why I'm doing that is Part two of this video, a back update. So spicy, what's going on with your spine? Like I even care. <laughs> so yeah, I'd seen the physio and he basically said, well, you now need to go and see a specialist physiotherapist because I can't help you. <laughs> so I then had to wait a week to make an appointment and I did that a couple of days ago. And the earliest appointment is late September, which means I'm going to go there and they're probably just going to then send me off for imaging which will be another way and then i'll have to go back and see them again which will be another way so it's exactly what i said was probably going to happen it will be probably three months before i get any form of definite diagnosis or even slightly approaching what we could call treatment <laughs> so yeah i'm basically exactly where i thought i was going to be which is just on a waiting list again uh, now i put a post up and this is my third part of this video i put a post up on instagram saying it felt like a kick in the balls uh, from the nhs this is something that a lot of people don't do, and I, and I can't expect people to have seen everything that I've said, you know, on video, but I had quite a lot of people saying, oh, you can't criticise the NHS, and it's not the NHS, it's not this, oh, you're lucky you don't live in America, just, you know, all that stuff. Now, the thing is, this is it's really irritating. Only a couple of videos ago, I said, I know the NHS, because it is free, because of the way that it is, we have to jump through hoops, and it just means you wait a long time, and well, I am grateful for it, but my God, I have to wait so long. So what I said was within context of that, having to wait like four or five months to get any form of treatment, you know, I think you can moan about that. I think it's fair to criticize the NHS for something like that. I don't say it's their fault. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's so many people they're dealing with who are just time wasters. I've also previously voiced my opinion that I think that the NHS's problem is not the doctors or anything like that is the organisation of it. And I'm, I said that years ago. And then like a couple of years ago, there was a big thing out. It was like the NHS is poorly organised and it's the management that's the problem. I mean, I don't want to get into that debate. Okay, the NHS is what it is. Yes, it's good, but it can be also bad. But also keep in mind, I have a bit of a case with the NHS. I can complain about the NHS. I mean, I'm in their debt because I was on growth hormone replacement when I, for like 10 years when I was a kid, and yeah, that I would be dead if it wasn't for that. So I'm very grateful to them. Unfortunately at the time, because it was so new, I was basically a guinea pig. And at that time, which is the early 90s, mental health awareness was not really a thing. So they just put me through all this uh, and didn't actually notice that it was severely messing me up mentally. Um, but whatever, you know, it was, it, if that's what I had to do to still be alive, then fair enough, there we go. But I can also criticise the NHS, because if, and it might even be related to what's wrong with my back, because it's affecting my left leg. If you remember in my crash, they forgot to x-ray my left hand, uh, and I had to go to the doctors like five times. Finally! Before he'd send me to the hospital to get an x-ray. And as soon as they did, they said, oh, you need an operation like this week. And they booked it in, but forgot to tell me. So it got delayed even longer and I ended up spending about 12 hours in hospital for a very short, well, reasonably short operation. But whatever, that's fine, it got done. But I was left with permanent damage because of it. If it had been done sooner, if it had been picked up on the day, it would have been done straight away and I'd still have a perfectly functioning thumb rather than this thumb which doesn't move as much and isn't nearly as strong and it's quite painful most of the time which is very often why you see me ride like that, okay? I also walked around on a broken foot for 18 months because in that crash I broke my navicular in half, which is the bone in the middle of your foot, and they didn't x-ray it, so they never knew, and I was in an amount, immense amount of pain trying to work for that on that for ages, until eventually after several visits to the doctor, they sent me for an x-ray, and said, shit, you need an operation like this week. So within context of what I've said in the past and my history, to say that I, it felt like a bit of a kick in the balls, to have to wait that long to try and get some treatment because I'm in so much pain constantly, stretch my back nicely. What was that? 
I think I'm justified in my small moan about them. Don't jump on the defence of the NHS just because someone says something against it. It's not infallible and it has done some pretty terrible things. But yes, I agree, I don't want us to go private, I wouldn't be able to afford that. But there is another thing that people don't take into account when they say things like, well, you're lucky you don't live in America, Sully. <laughs> yeah, but if we did live in America, you'd get um, health insurance with your job, generally. Not always, but generally. It may only be certain things, but you know, it comes with your job. We don't get anything like that. Well, if you're in a job that you get a private health plan, you're in a pretty good job. So yes, I am criticizing the NHS because it's annoying me, but it doesn't mean that I think it should be done away with. It's, you know, it's, it's the context, and people very often don't know the context, or don't they choose not to uh, uh, apply the context of something they saw me say only two days ago. Uh, sorry to be a ranty about it, but it's just, um, it's a bit annoying when people, I have, you know, multiple people, like, bashing back at me, and I'm like, dude, I've already said this, I'm just saying it sucks, I have to wait a month to get an appointment, to just get another appointment, to just get another an appointment, you know, before I actually get any treatment. It's fair enough to say. Anyway, um, I have a video coming over the weekend showing you some of the resin casts and things that I've made, uh, and I'm going to be selling some, including one that has bullets in it, and you may have already seen it. And I've made a very nice looking clock. So keep an eye out for that video. Thanks for watching, thank you for the support. And, oh well, yes, that, actually, that's one other thing I'll say. One of the reasons why it's such a pressing issue for me, why I want to just get the treatment, is because I'm self-employed. I don't get sick pay. I know I keep telling people this. I have very small passive incomes uh, through doing vlogging, you know, like the YouTube money itself and a few merch bits, but most of my money has been made in the past year through selling clocks and keychains and stuff like that. When my working speed is massively reduced due to so much pain I'm in, it means I can't earn as much, so it becomes a really stressful problem at a really bad time. You know, I've already talked about that it's kind of a struggle at the moment anyway, so even if I wanted to go and get a job instead, yeah right, anyone's going, well hello, sit down, they're going to stand up, I'm like, ah, ow, and hobble away. Oh yeah, we'll definitely give him the job. So until my back's straight, I don't even think I'll get a job either. So it's really, really, really pertinent that I get this freaking treatment. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if I just got drunk and threw myself down a set of stairs and went, oh, my back hurts, you know, oh, oh, it's really sore, and my leg feels funny, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna put me in an MRI machine that night. The only help I can get as a self-employed worker is to claim like universal credit or, or CSE, CSIES, I can't remember exactly what it is, but basically it's like earn it, um, it's when you can't work as much when you're self-employed, uh, they will boost it. But it isn't a huge amount of money. And uh, I don't really feel right claiming it because unlike other people in my situation, I have a YouTube channel that's earning me some money and I have amazing supporters that support me through PayPal and people that buy clocks and stuff. So there we go, rant over. You can now see why I did this video in this order. The Q&A first, the people can just leave their questions, then people can get an update on my back and then when I start ranting they can just turn it off. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, thanks for watching if you got this far through. I appreciate listening. Have they got horses? They have a horse, I thought they might. What was I saying? Uh, thanks, you're amazing, and I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so normally at this point I show a video from a subscriber in the subscriber spotlight. If you want to be featured, look at the information in the description. But I actually have run out. Um, I haven't been sent any for a while. So instead, I've picked one myself. It's a channel I discovered quite recently. I've caught up on their videos, and I absolutely love everything about this channel. Really skilled people just doing decent work, I like it. There are a couple of guys building a boat. The channel is called Acorn to Arabella. Check out the links in the description. Maybe leave them a comment and say I sent you. Catch you next time. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.